silence sirens shrill shrieks. This is the demand of persons living near Palmam Light. Providence, February 22. During the past seven months residents along both shores of the Upper Bay and for several miles inland from either shore, have endured the dismal, penetrating, nerve-wracking moan of the new for Slurin at Palmam Light. Some of them have tried to have it removed or stopped, as the one placed at Warwick Neck about the same time was done away with, but all such efforts have been without avail. A petition has been started by Commissioner of Public Works Smith, whose summer residence is on Poitoxet Neck, nearly opposite the light, and circulated among the masters and pilots of the steamers plying in and out of the bay. This petition, addressed to the Lighthouse Board, has already been assured of a favorable reception and fair consideration, it is understood. The grounds on which the removal of the fog siren and the substitution for it of a mechanically struck bell, are that the siren is now worse than useless. Instead of warning the mariners and acquainting him with the location of the rocks, as it intended to do, the siren is actually confusing. Its location cannot be told in a fog and the masters and pilots are unanimously in favor of having it removed. It was established to mark Palmam Rocks, June 30, 1900, and has been the cause of more profanity afloat and ashore, since then than anything else, except another of its kind the whistle has a sound to make the flesh creep, indescribably lonesome and cheerless, creepy and dreary.